Hey guys, good morning. The coffee. Um, random face. Running out of ideas for fucking thumbnail pictures. So. so it's a confession video. In this video, I want to admit something that may be a shocker to few, maybe no surprise to all, maybe uh, who gives a fuck to most. <coughs> I don't watch YouTube tech channel videos. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, like, uh, for the most part, when it comes to, like, YouTube videos, like, uh, when it comes to watching content, I, like, I do not watch, like, tech channels whatsoever. Um, not necessarily because I don't like it, it's just simply, oh, well, to be honest, I never was into, uh, tech. Like, uh, say a lot of, like, the followers that Paul has to begin with, I'll admit. To be honest, I didn't know this existed whatsoever. Yeah, which is more of a, I don't know, I just played the, on my PlayStation, video games, and, you know, whatever. But I started working with Paul, and all of a sudden, I was like, woof. I had no idea. This business is to like, you know, sleeve the cables of your power, of all the cables in your damn, you know, PC, you know, custom like engraving for your glass side panels, freaking LEDs for fans of all types and LEDs for motherboards and I don't know what. And just like, Jesus Christ, there was, there was so much that I was not aware of. And I was like, wow, that's pretty surprising. It's cool, right? So <laughs> that's probably one of the first things that really got me uh, happy to work with someone like Paul. because like, I was surprised about how much shit it is in tech that I didn't realize, right? It's cool, right? So being able to go to like, you know, uh, Taiwan and uh, Vegas and see all this stuff in person is really cool, you know? And yeah, it's kind of cool to see a lot of this stuff like in person before it comes out to the public, right? So yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. Awesome, right anyways that being said like uh when i first started working with paul like i did subscribe to a lot of like the main you know tech channels right um you know, hardware canucks you know uh, uh, j's two cents and you know linus tech tips and all this stuff and like i watched a lot of their videos because like i wasn't certain about how to edit videos right so i was watching like those types of videos to get an idea of how to edit tech videos right so i tell you right now there's no fucking right way <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit. Basically, I reached a point where, like, um, I decided to like, just have fun with it, right? Like I said, I was just, I was making the transition from working from construction to film. And I was like, you know what? If I'm going to fail or get fired, at least I'll get fired because, like, you know, I have fun doing what I did, right? And, like, uh, I just, that's what I thought, thought about it, right? So I just did my thing in the sense, like, I just started to fuck around with Paul's videos in a manner that basically I wanted to make him laugh because, like, when we first started working together, he would give me the footage and then he just, in between cuts or whatever, like, he would, like, just talk to me or whatever. Then I started responding with him with, like, stupid jokes here and there. If he would make a mistake, I would just point it out, make fun of him, right? Not necessarily to embarrass him or anything like that, but basically just to like basically i wanted to make him laugh right that's what i was aiming for when i was like editing his videos uh, early on right which is the fuck with them and have some fun right uh i didn't think he would like leave a lot of the shit <laughs> that i left in the videos at first but then like i noticed like it would just like leave it in there i was like oh okay <laughs> so then little by little i started to like fuck with them more or just have more fun with the videos and then like oh man there had been moments where like uh some of the jokes he didn't find funny or they were just too far so i had to learn to scale back so i was like all right cool i had to find that balance between where like okay <laughs> <laughs> That's the line. <laughs> Definitely don't want to cross that, right? Because I do like working with them. But but yeah, I mean, like when I do watch tech channels, say like Hardware Canucks or Linus Tech, uh, it's mainly when they say like Linus Tech tips, they'll like sh do a video on how they edit, like the process, their workflow, or how they do their camera, like, you know, other stuff, you know, anything that's, like, related to post-production, you know, editing or, you know, camera work and other stuff. I do like watching those types of videos from those guys to see what they do, right? So I can learn a few things. Actually, um, Taryn from Linus Tech Tips, I did learn a lot from him. It's kind of hard and also a bit dangerous to not watch other people's content and start thinking, oh, wow, maybe I can do this, maybe I can do that, or... Their con oh, their content is crisp, all oh, this and that. You know, you start comparing yourself and all this stuff. It's, it's good in the sense of, like, you want to, like, feel, like, some type of influence to you get an idea to, like, you know, increase your quality or there's something that they do in a certain manner that you want to maybe give it a try, right? But um, also at the same time, it's kind of dangerous because um, the way how I feel about, like, when I edit, like, a video for Paul is that over the years, like, his personality and his filming methods and the jokes that he makes and whatnot i feel like there has been like this natural development of how i edit the video according to 
how we film, how, how he films or presents the image, his product, his personality, like the jokes he makes and all this stuff. Um, I feel like there's like this custom tailored editing method I developed for working with him, right? So if I was to like, you know, copy how another uh, Take Channel edits their video and add it to Paul's video, I, I don't think it will fit, right? Because like just, it's not Paul, right? And like that's something I guess like I wanted to make sure I kept the... Uh, consistent when I started working with him, right? Because of his mannerisms, his, the way how he jokes and this and that, like, you know, if you watch a lot of his videos, you know, like maybe the kind of music I play in the background, like the kind of like jokes or memes or whatever that I, little cutaways that I add depending on what he says or the jokes that he makes, you know, I add to it or because, you know, we've known each other for so long, we start to like banter with each other. So like I add a few, some stuff to like, you know, just to make the video more fun, right? So like the video itself, like over time has developed its own personality in a way, right? So that's kind of like something I try to focus on a lot is basically keeping the video that's something strictly pause video, right? <laughs> Anyways, if you're starting out and if you're watching like a lot of tech channels and like you're like want to aspire to do that, I mean, it's good to have a goal, but basically instead of focusing on the goal, focus more on like uh, the progress on your own content, right? Develop your own style, your own feel that when people watch your videos, like it's it's its own thing, right? It's its own like uh, signature taste, right? That people can like appreciate it on its own, right? Because uh, if you try to try to copy somebody else's like uh, film or video making style, then like I think people can pick up on that and not be being genuine so they probably won't appreciate it you know just keep it genuine and have fun with it and then i think people can pick up on that like you're having fun with making your video and they'll they'll enjoy watching your video more for being you know just for being yourself right anyways got nothing else to say nothing else to add so yeah <laughs> i don't watch tech channel videos because i edit tech content <laughs> anyways that's all i got for you take care and peace